Welcome back to the YouTube channel of Web Experts Team. We've all used Control Up at some point in our Excel to search a data set. We are going to learn how to insert a search bar into a worksheet that searches data and returns all matches. Let's get started. Here we have a sales data set with thousands of rows and need to quickly search for representatives. Instead of using the Find tool to search for the rep and then cycle through all of the matches, we can insert a search bar into a worksheet that searches the data and returns any value containing the text. To insert a search bar, first, we need to insert a text box from the Developer tab. If you don't have the Developer tab in your workbook, write, click the ribbon, select Customize the ribbon, check the Developer tab in the main tabs list, and hit OK. Now, open the Insert drop, down, select Text box, insert the text box into the worksheet by clicking and dragging, and then move it to where you want the search bar to be located. Next, we need to link the text box to a cell so that we can reference it in formulas. To do this, write, click the text box, select properties, and then enter the cell in the box next to link cell. I recommend linking the text box to a cell behind it to prevent confusion, so I'm going to enter J2 and then exit out of the properties box. Now that we've inserted and linked the text box, we can exit design mode by unselecting the design mode command in the developer tab of the ribbon. The last step is to use the filter function to filter the data set on any representative that contains the text entered in the search bar. So select where you want to list the matches, enter the filter function, and select the entire data set as the array argument. Next, enter this Boolean statement as the include argument to return the rows that contain the text in the search bar within the representative column. Let's break this down. The search function searches each representative for the value entered in the search bar and then returns the number of the starting position of the value if it finds a match or an error if it can't find a match. The isNumber function converts the search function's results into two or false values so that the filter function can read the results. It returns true if the search function resulted in a number indicating that there's a match or false if it did not result in a number indicating no match. Lastly, we can use the ifEmpty argument to return a default value of none if there are no matches. Now, if we enter Mike's name into the search box, all of the representatives that are named Mike are returned. If we enter Smith, all the reps with the last name Smith are returned. If we enter Emma Chip, all of Emma Chip's sales are returned and so on. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon. Don't forget to like this video and share to your knowns.